Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of sustainable construction, where innovation meets environmental responsibility. Sustainable construction isn't just a trend, it's a necessity in our rapidly changing world. From reducing carbon emissions to conserving resources, sustainable construction practices are shaping the future of the industry. Green building, also known as sustainable building or eco-friendly building, refers to the design, construction, and operation of buildings in an environmentally responsible and resource-efficient manner. The goal of green building is to minimize the environmental impact of buildings throughout their life cycle, including their design, construction, operation, maintenance, and demolition. Energy efficiency refers to the utilization of design, construction, and operational techniques to minimize energy consumption while maintaining or improving the comfort, functionality, and productivity of the occupants. It involves optimizing the performance of building systems and equipment to reduce the amount of energy required for heating, cooling, lighting, ventilation, and other activities. Water efficiency in green building refers to the practice of designing, constructing, and operating buildings in a way that minimizes water consumption and maximizes the sustainable use of water resources. Several strategies are employed to achieve water efficiency in buildings such as low flow fixtures, Gray water is wastewater generated from activities like bathing and laundry, which can be treated and reused for purposes such as landscape irrigation or toilet flushing. Collecting rainwater from rooftops and other surfaces and storing it for non-potable uses, such as irrigation or toilet flushing, can reduce the demand for potable water. Choosing water-efficient appliances, such as dishwashers and washing machines, can significantly reduce water consumption in residential and commercial buildings. Regularly monitoring building plumbing systems for leaks and promptly repairing them helps prevent water waste and damage. Sustainable materials, in the context of green building, refer to building materials that are environmentally responsible throughout their life cycle, from extraction or harvesting to production, use, and disposal. These materials aim to minimize environmental impact, conserve resources, reduce energy consumption, and promote healthier indoor environments. Some common types of sustainable materials used in green building include recycled materials, renewable materials, biodegradable materials, low impact materials, and certified materials. By incorporating sustainable materials into building design and construction, green buildings can minimize their environmental footprint, promote resource conservation, and contribute to a more sustainable built environment. Indoor environmental quality, IEQ, refers to the quality of the indoor environment within buildings and structures, including various factors that can affect the health, comfort, and well-being of occupants. Achieving high IEQ is crucial for creating healthy and productive indoor spaces. Several key factors contribute to indoor environmental quality, such as Good indoor air quality involves maintaining appropriate levels of pollutants, such as volatile organic compounds, VOCs, particulate matter, carbon monoxide, and other contaminants. Proper ventilation systems, filtration, and source control measures help ensure clean and healthy indoor air. Maintaining optimal temperature and humidity levels within indoor spaces is essential for occupant comfort and well-being. Effective insulation, efficient heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, HVAC systems, and control mechanisms allow occupants to adjust indoor conditions according to their preferences. Natural daylighting refers to the use of natural light from the sun to illuminate indoor spaces. Adequate daylighting not only reduces the need for artificial lighting, but also enhances occupant comfort, mood, and productivity. Proper building orientation, window design, and daylighting strategies optimize natural light distribution while minimizing glare and heat gain. Controlling noise levels within indoor environments is crucial for creating comfortable and productive spaces. 
proper insulation, sound absorbing materials, and acoustic design considerations help minimize unwanted noise from both external sources and within the building itself. Site selection and planning in the context of green building involve choosing optimal locations for construction and designing developments to minimize environmental impact, promote sustainability, and enhance the well-being of occupants. Selecting sites that have already been developed, brownfields or infill locations, helps minimize urban sprawl and preserve undeveloped land and natural habitats. Prioritizing sites with existing infrastructure and access to public transportation can reduce the need for new infrastructure and promote sustainable transportation options. Assessing the ecological characteristics of potential building sites, including soil quality, vegetation, wildlife habitat, and water resources, helps minimize disruption to ecosystems and biodiversity. Protecting sensitive habitats, wetlands, and water bodies, and implementing measures to mitigate environmental impacts such as stormwater management and erosion control, are integral to sustainable site planning. Prioritizing sites within walking distance of amenities such as shops, schools, parks, and public transit encourages pedestrian-friendly development, reduces reliance on automobiles, and promotes community connectivity and social interaction. Waste reduction and recycling are essential components of green building practices aimed at minimizing environmental impact conserving resources, and promoting sustainability. Strategies for waste reduction and recycling in the context of green building include implementing strategies to minimize construction waste generation, such as careful material planning, accurate estimation, and efficient packaging helps reduce the amount of waste sent to landfills. Additionally, segregating waste materials on-site and facilitating their recycling or reuse can divert a significant portion of construction debris from disposal. Prioritizing the reuse and salvage of materials from deconstructed or demolished buildings reduces the demand for new resources and minimizes waste. Salvaged materials such as doors, windows, fixtures, and structural components can be refurbished, repurposed, or donated for use in other projects. Establishing comprehensive recycling programs on construction sites and within buildings encourages the separation and recycling of materials such as metals, cardboard, paper, plastics, and glass. Implementing composting programs for organic waste generated during construction and operation, such as food scraps, landscaping waste, and biodegradable materials, helps divert organic matter from landfills and produces nutrient-rich compost for landscaping or agricultural use. Designing buildings and components for ease of disassembly and separation facilitates material recovery and recycling at the end of their life cycle. Using modular construction techniques, mechanical fastenings, and standardized components simplifies dismantling and recycling processes, enabling greater resource recovery and reuse. Seeking third-party certifications such as LEED and BREEAM or Green Star to verify the sustainability of a building's design and construction, these standards help guide developers, architects, and builders in creating buildings that are more sustainable and environmentally responsible. Green building practices not only benefit the environment by reducing carbon emissions, conserving resources, and protecting ecosystems, but also offer economic advantages such as lower operating costs, increased property value, and improved occupant health and productivity. That's all for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching. Cheers.